Hello everybody, welcome back to Khan Eats. We've been quarantined in our house for the last two weeks and I've been having a hankering for some nachos, but I'm on a low carb keto. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a low carb version of some nachos, like what you'll get at uh, Taco Bell, but better because it ain't Taco Bell, you know what I mean? So let's get straight into it. What we're first gonna do is, I have my cilantro here already cut up. And this is like a quarter of a bunch. You know, if you go to the store, you buy a whole bunch, just use a quarter of it. This is about, this will be about enough, maybe even more than enough. I chop these already, we'll put this here. And I have some green onions here. Cut up the butts. This one green onion will be enough. Chop it like this. Put it here. Next to our cilantro. I have a red onion here, I think we'll use a quarter of this red onion will be good enough. So we'll just cut this in half, and half the other half in half. Peel off the outer not so good layer. And we're gonna chop them pretty thin, so let's do it like this. Put it next to our cilantro and green onions. Like so. Ooh, that's spicy in my eyeball. My eyes. <laughs> I'm crying. I have two cloves of garlic here. And we're gonna mince these. First we smash them. And then we mince them. Perfect. Put them in here. I have one vine tomato here that we're gonna cube up into little cubes. We'll slice them like this. About a quarter inch thick. So we're gonna cube them like so. And then the other way. Put them in here. Fairly simple, easy. In our nachos, we're also gonna have some guacamole, so I'm gonna make us a guacamole today. I don't have any lemon or lime, but I do have apple cider vinegar, so I'm gonna use that, all right guys? So let's cut up this uh, avocado here. Mm. Avocado is a little dark, a little old, but it's still good to eat. So we want to cut them horizontally like this. I think we caught the avocado just in time before it went bad. I mean, it's almost going bad. It's still pretty good though, so we should be okay. I don't want this avocado to go to waste, so we'll just eat it. Get a spoon and spoon out our avocado here and put it into this bowl, like so. The other side, like this. Now, I don't have lemon or lime, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this apple cider vinegar here for replacement of that. Let's see, just about a tablespoon. Yeah, I think a tablespoon is good. Smash it down. A pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Mix that together. And you have a guacamole. It's pretty good. I have this grater here. And we're gonna grate ourselves some uh, grass-fed cheese, all right? If you're gonna go with the cheese, you should go for grass-fed cheese. It's better for you. So let's take a grater and just start grating, like so. Probably do about a cup of this. There we go. That should be enough. Okay, in this frying pan here, I already have some butter on here, but uh, it cooled down, so we're gonna reheat this butter. It's about two tablespoons of butter. It's about, it's about, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's about two tablespoons of butter. <laughs> I have half a pound of ground beef here. 
It's 80, 20% lean. All right, into our frying pan here, we can add in our garlic that we minced earlier. When our butter is fragrant, we can uh, throw in our ground beef. Break that apart. Just about half a pound of ground beef. Ooh, that looks so good. While the meat is getting ready for our nachos, instead of chips or tortilla chips, we're gonna use some chicharrones, pork rinds. This will keep our carb content way down. There you go, about half a bag of this. We can put on our cheese, sprinkle on like that, spread them out evenly. We can move this over here, just for now. All right, now we can season our meats. About a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin, some cayenne pepper, about a half a teaspoon, some Cajun seasoning, about a teaspoon, some chili powder, about half a teaspoon, a little bit of paprika, about a quarter teaspoon, mix this up. It's pretty much taco seasoning. A pinch of salt. Mix, mix. We're gonna take our chicharron and cheese in this cast iron, and we're gonna put our meat right on top. Mm. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. And bring it back to the table here. We're gonna now put on um, our guacamole. I say just spread it around our guacamole. Spread it around evenly. There we go. Lovingly and caringly on top of our meat and cheese and pork skin. Delicious. It's gonna be so good. You wanna beat your mama up because she never made it for you before. And if she has, you should love her forever. She's a queen. She knows how to make this. Now our sour cream. Just take a little bit and spread it around everywhere. Like this. This is very fatty, rich in calories and fat. So if you're on the keto low carb, this is the way to go. And even if you're not, this is still so damn good to eat. Trust me on that. Guarantee we're your money back. Now we can add in our tomatoes. So grab your tomatoes, sprinkle them around, like so. Everywhere, everywhere and anywhere. Evenly as possible. And now our red onions. Sprinkle your red onions around. And your cilantro around. Like so. Wanna look good? And your green onions here. How's that look? Still look good? Finish making our nachos, our uh, ground beef nachos with uh, teacher rolls, pork rice, low carb, very low carbs, very keto friendly with the avocado and sour cream and everything. And let's now dig in and have a taste, all right guys? Mm. So many great textures. Crunchy, creamy from the avocado and the sour cream, the fresh flavor from the from the veggies, the onions and tomatoes. The herbs, it's so earthy, so good. And the beef, oh my gosh. The cheese is really good. What would go very well with this is some hot sauce. I got some Cholula here, get some hot sauce. Put a couple dabs on. So good. So good, so delicious. Very easy, very quick, very low carb, keto friendly. Try this out at home. It's very, very good. Trust me, you will love me and yourself for it. Keto, low carb, nachos with uh, beef and pork rinds. All right guys, thank you guys all for watching. This is Connie's. Like if you like the video, dislike if you don't like it. Comment down below, please share this video. Please do subscribe, and if you do all of that, you'll be entered to win 
I picked two lucky people to be entered to win a $20 gift card when I reach 500 subscribers. Alright guys? Thank you guys for watching and you guys have an awesome time.